Hello church, my name is Olayinka Oladuran and welcome to another exciting episode of Ramp TV right here at Jesus House DC. I am super excited for this week's announcement, but before that, I want you guys to go ahead and say a huge congratulations to your neighbors because you guys are hours away from 2018. Don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, guys. 2018, man, that's so crazy. When I think about 2017, I don't know about you, but I have had some highs, I've had some lows, but in all of it, I always thank God. So guys, sit back, relax. When we come back, we've got more news for you right here on Rock TV. Welcome back to Rap TV. Now, when I think about 2017, it's no secret. It was a little bit harder on some of us than others. But the important thing to remember is whenever you're going through a hard time, you always have your family right here at church to support you. So the visitation and care department of Jesus House DC is here for anyone that may have experienced any sickness or even lost a loved one. All you have to do is contact the church office. Call them, let them know the situation, and they'll have someone come to you, whether you're at the hospital, at your home, somebody will be there holding your hand every step of the way. Just contact the information below and you'll have a helping hand, a neighbor, and a loving partnership in God right by your side. It's the end of the year and a new one is right around the corner. Now it's time for reflection. I'm thinking, did I make all the right decisions? Did I do all the right things? But one thing that kept going through my mind was small beginnings always lead to great endings. And my small beginnings started right here in Jesus House DC. Now, my first department that I joined was GNN. It's now known as Ramp TV. And when I first started, I had so many questions. Am I gonna have somebody chastising me? All the forms that I had to fill, all the accountability, am I gonna get in trouble? Did I, am I gonna forget to do something? But I let all of that go and I took a leap of faith. And I'm so glad I did. My time at Jesus House DC gave me the skills and the, the discipline to go off to do what I really wanted to do in life. All the times that I was recording GNN, going over scripts, learning how cameras work, how editing work, all apply to what I do today. Because of GNN, I was able to then go and work at ESPN and then MTV Base and then whatever it is that God has in store for me. So how will you know what God has in store for you if you don't take that leap of faith? Something that you think is just a hobby now or maybe a pastime could actually be the gateway that you need to do bigger, better things. And becoming a worker at Jesus House is the time to practice be able to make any mistakes that you want to make in the loved ones because you know you're not doing it for anything else other than God. So take that leap of faith and sign up today. All the information that you need is on the screen. All you have to do is pray about it and God and know that God is directing you in this way. Okay, so when marriage is going right, life is pretty sweet. Experts all agree that married people in a good relationship are the happiest people on the planet. Not to mention healthier and wealthier too. But let's be honest, marriage is a mysterious, often irrational business. Making it work till death do you part, or just till the end of the week, isn't always easy. Every year, 2.3 million couples get hitched, and 1.2 get divorced. The statistics are staggering. So is the cost, $33 billion annually, to say nothing of the emotional price children who are caught in the crossfire pay. But what if there was an easy, effective, and inexpensive way to change all that? What if the local church could bring divorce stats to its knees? How? By simply waking up a sleeping giant already within its midst. A growing band of couples are already becoming certified marriage mentors. Experienced couples who walk alongside less experienced couples, helping them learn from their own experience. 84% of people in church say they want a marriage mentor, but only 22% said they have one. Imagine what would happen if just a few couples in your church became equipped to turn the tide on marital dissatisfaction by helping new couples launch lifelong love. 
by helping repair love that's lost its way, and by showing some couples how to move from good to great. Are you ready to join the effort? Make a positive impact on other couples by becoming a marriage mentor? Don't buy the lie that says your own marriage needs to be perfect first. Nobody's marriage is perfect. And besides, a recent poll revealed that 91% of couples want marriage mentors who had grappled with issues. So my mom always says, Ileoko ni Ileoko. Yeah, I know, my yoga is a little bit rusty. But basically all it means is the marriage house, it's like the educational house, right? So that got me thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you had somebody to kind of hold your hand every single step of the way? Like the buddy system that we had back in high school or middle school. Well, the Marriage Ministries of Jesus House DC has started the Marriage Buddies. Now, the whole idea behind the program is to have people that have been married for at least five years to help newly married couples. Now, I know when you just got married, you don't really want to say, hey, I need help. Hey, I'm drowning. But what better place to get help than right here at your church in Jesus House DC? So please, begging you, take advantage of the information on the screen and contact the numbers and let them know, hey, this sounds like a good place. I know what it's like to be married for over five years, and I would like to help those coming behind. Now, for as long as I can remember, I've always been a curious little girl. There is never anything anyone could tell me and I wouldn't ask why, what, where. Now, my mom, she hated it. <laughs> there was never anything she could tell me to do. Wash the dishes, why? Uh, clean your room, why? I want you to do this, but why? Every single thing was a question. Now, when it comes to your parents, that could be kind of annoying, but when it comes to things like your Christianity, well, those questions are a pivotal moment of your journey. I remember when I first did Alpha, I had a bajillion questions and I would always question everything. Now, no offense, Pastor G, I know you know your stuff, but sometimes I'd be like, why is he saying what he's saying? Is he sure? Does he know? How does he know? Well, if you have all these questions and more, then the Alpha course is the right place for you. And since it's gonna be a new year, why not there be a new you as well? Discover your Christianity in a whole new way. Be sure to join the new session of Alpha, which starts on the 16th of January, 7 p.m. at the church basement. And if the questions that are gonna be answered aren't enough, let's talk about the food. Now y'all know a girl can eat. <laughs> and there will be lots of food, lots to drink, and lots of great people to have this type of important conversation with. So I hope you guys join the new course of Alpha. So much is happening at Jesus House, so make sure that if any of these messages are applicable to you, take the opportunity now. And speaking of living in the now, guys, 2018 is right around the corner. So which, what is a better way to spend your last hours, your last moments of 2017 than right here at church? Be sure to come back to church right here at 9 p.m. for the watch night service. Now it's gonna be great for those of you and you know yourself, you know, the ones that like to run into church at 11.59 and say, ah, Happy New Year, yes, I was with God. Don't be like that. It's a 2018, try to try something new. So one thing you can do that's new is to be here on time, 9 p.m. The service is gonna start. It's gonna be a powerful message for you that's gonna propel you into your 2018 and set you up for success. Well, guys, it has been a wonderful time catching up and letting you guys know all the exciting things that's happening right here in Jesus House, D.C. My name is Alainka Oladera, and I will see you guys next year in 2018. Woo! <laughs>